David said, we are strangers before thee and sojourners as were all our fathers. Does that include Abraham? Does that include Isaac? Does that include Jacob? You know, the attitude of God's people was not like, this is my land, this is mine. I'm going to make sure and kill the Messiah so I can keep my land. They said, you know what? We have to put Jesus to death. Read John chapter 11. We don't want everybody to believe in him, and then the Romans will come and take our land if everyone believes in Jesus. All they cared about was their stupid land. They didn't care about the God of the land, the Messiah of the land. What, was that David's attitude? No, David didn't say, this is my life, I own this. No, he, this way he said, he said, we're strangers. We're sojourners before thee as were all our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow and there's none abiding. Just like in the New Testament, what did it say? Our life is a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Look what the Bible says in chapter 25. I have to find the verse because it's not in my notes. 23, it says... The land shall not be sold. This is Leviticus 25, 23. The land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine. For ye are strangers and sojourners with me. You know what the Lord said there? You're my guests on this land. I own the land. Well, who owns the land? The Jews own it. The Arabs own it. No, God owns it. And whoever is on that land is his guest. That's what the Bible actually says. He says, you can't sell the land because I own the land and you are strangers and sojourners with me. I'm letting you be here. It, it belongs to me and I'm letting you live here. That's why he had the right to kick him out whenever he wants. And he exercised that right repeatedly. That's why he said, well, I'm going to allow the Philistines to be here to be a thorn in your side. Because of your wickedness, I'm going to allow the Philistines to be here to harass you. I'm going to let the Moabites and the Edomites and the, and, the, and the Amorites be here and stay here, and they're going to harass you. Why? Because it's my land and I can do whatever I want with it, is basically what he's showing there. The land belonged to to God. It belongs to God today. And anyone who's on it is a stranger and a sojourner. You know, we ought to have that attitude. And you know, it goes the same thing for Arizona. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. God owns everything. And you know, we ought to realize that we are guests on his planet. Well, who does God think he is to tell us? Well, he owns the place. He's the creator. He's God. He's the Lord. And we are strangers and sojourners with him. So don't get too prideful about your United States citizenship. Don't get too prideful that you're an Israeli citizen or you're a citizen of this country or that country. You know what? None of that stuff really matters in comparison to whether you're in Christ.